Right, grade 10s, here we are with the pat. Let's go to phase one. Remember, we know our topic is on social media. We've already looked at our focus question, um, choosing a social media platform and then um, one platform that it impacts. So let's go and see what is required for phase one. Let me just go up here. I'd like to look at the rubric. Okay, so in phase one, for four marks, they want to see that you've got all electronic copies of the phase one documents. Documents are in a, well, your folders are in a logical folder structure, meaningful folder names, and the declaration of authenticity is provided as well. You've got a cover page. Does your cover page match up? with these items here is it simplistic is it is there a suitable image you know this is why the rubric is important so we've got our folder we've got our document in there do you have all eight headings have you used the heading styles as per the annexure are they all headings as they're supposed to be like if it's a main heading etc do you have a table of contents do the page numbers appear on the right do you see how much detail is here Okay, then your smart art, have you put that in, um, has it got a hierarchy, do all folders appear there, is it well laid out, is your focus question included, have you adapted it to match your chosen focus area, in other words, have you put that like TikTok and communication in there, your task definition, and again folks, this, let me see, I don't say how many words, I'm going to check in the other section but you your task definition is comprised of you indicating why you are doing this what your focus is going to be on how you are going to do it i mean you're going to do it maybe by giving out a questionnaire by researching things online by reading more by you know going through social media to find out whatever you need to who is the information for who are you going to present the final result to here we go how must it be presented? Well, I'm going to be using PowerPoint. I'm going to be creating a slideshow. Um, I'm putting a document together with all of my research. And there's the planning document. Um, have you got all the research questions in place? Do you have two additional questions? Then do you have answers to that? Are you using images, graphs, all of these type of things? You, you, you will need to go through all of this, right? Your summary of sources your bibliographical information, um, your document, is it a single worded document, automatic page numbering, page breaks, no spelling and grammar mistakes. How do you prove that? By having a little screenshot of your spelling and grammar check, right? Your fonts, time management, all of these things. So that's what's required for phase one as far as the rubric is concerned. Let's go up to get a little more detail on this. So we know what we need to do. Okay, now I touched on this briefly in the previous video, but again, you want to first go and create the folder structure. There they give you an example. So do that, create those folders, create those names, right? Design a cover page, make sure your cover page has all of these items on it, right? Make sure it's all there, read through this. From there, what do you need to do? So your first page will be the cover page. Your next page will be the table of contents. So put in the heading table of contents, put in an automatic table of contents, and then go and create these headings on each of the next few pages. So page number what three will be folder structure, then focus question. Have those headings there, format it as heading style one, and then update your table of contents, and those headings will then come through um, and just make sure the page numbers appear as well. But again, check your rubric. Then after that, the next one is your smart art. So they just want you to create a smart art like this. Your surname, your name. Your surname, your name. Your surname, your name. Okay. Then the next one is your focus question. And we've been through this in the previous video. Um, just put in that one sentence as your focus question. Okay. Please also do check with your teacher as you go along. All right. Then the next page would be your task definition. 
describe the current situation, uh, what the current situation is regarding the topic you are focusing on. Discuss which areas you are going to, you know, research. Um, indicate in broad terms how you will approach the task. I just want to see a font size 12. They don't say how many words. I know sometimes they had said it was like 300 words, 400 words. But I don't see... No, I don't see anything here. Okay, so I would say probably maximum half a page, maximum. Okay, in the past it was like a quarter of a page, so it just depends on you. But make sure that when you type that out, you are answering all of this. Then you'll get the marks. Okay. Um, use the research questions to guide your investigation. Okay. Okay. So this is where you start creating questions to help you find more info. And here they give you an example. Okay. You want to look at what I already know, what I want to know, what I have learned, what I still want to know. And then they mention that you want to repeat the previous four steps until you have all the information you need. This is how we gather information. Right. Then... Um, I just want to see through here. Yeah, your research questions. I just want to see how many they need. Okay, so use the sources provided or sources you have added to find the answer to the questions you've typed in your planning document. So you need to be asking certain questions in order for you to get more information. After you've gathered all the required information to answer the questions, you must summarize the answers in your own words under the questions. So here yeah, they give you an example. Question number one, um, your source in this table, you must write the type of source you used. So maybe for question number one, your answer that you got was from the internet. Maybe the next one was from a textbook. Maybe the next one was from some other source. Maybe most of them are from the internet, and that's fine. But here they mention that you must use at least three sources. So maybe it was a video. Maybe it was an internet article. Maybe it was a textbook. Whatever the case may be. You need to have at least three sources. So if seven of your sources are the internet, one is a video, one is a textbook, um, no, that's nine. So eight of them and then one textbook, one video, and that should be fine. Okay. Just want to... Okay, so that's your bibliography. I just want to go up to your planning document again. Just want to make sure we are answering everything we need to. Okay. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. They mention here, use the following research questions that relate to the topic you've selected in your search for the suitable information. Right. So let's say for argument's sake, we went up here and we said, how can TikTok improve and negatively impact our lives in the area of communication? There, communication. They've given us video links. They've given us website links for the research. Yeah, they've given us questions that... We're going to put in as our research questions and we're going to answer them based on the links that we have here. Okay. If you have other links, that's also fine. But those are the research questions. Once you've sorted that out, then we have to have a bibliography as well for each of those sources. So if I said, well, question number one of the six was whatever it was and my source was the internet, then I have to have this for each website. To have the name of the website, name of the web page, the URL, the author, etc. For each video, I have to do it this way. For each printed source, I have to. So you've got to have this for each and every one of your sources. You've got six questions. You should have six sources then as well. Okay. And then when it comes to handing in, you just want to make sure you have your entire pet folder. Um, your planning document, again, must have a cover page, table of contents, smart art, focus question, task definition, research questions, summary of answers, sources for every question, your bibliography with those tables, 
and then subfolders this is important uh, important subfolder with copies of the sources you have used and that declaration for phase one which comes in the form of annexure b so i hope that helps you now get a good start on phase one